ハローモイスティーズ<笑>アンドブッシュピグス<笑>ウェルカムトゥーザホーネッツネスト<笑>面白そう What's up, gang? Tuesday night. Mountain Terrace edition of the Hornet's Nest. Welcome. It's hat day. Hello, fellow kids. Freaking intro! Uh, everybody is in the place by the prodigy, obviously, and I was inspired to play that record because this is the 30th anniversary of the prodigy as a group. Can you believe that? Liam Hallett tweeted earlier in the week, might have been yesterday, actually, saying that it was 30 years to the day that the prodigy started their career. Unreal! So let's kick off with a few prodigy jams. <laughs> Not our remix, the original.
So we've already got 50 in the chat. When we hit 69, I've got something special for you. Courtesy of our friend Lazy Dino, who's in the chat. I'll explain when we get to 69. I love it, how three people just pissed off. Oh, I, ne- I need my tits. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like 10 people left, Jesus. I'm a fire starter, twisted 
Okay. <laughs> so we were talking in the chat about the Prodigy. Macca79 says he remembers seeing them in Australia back in the day in a small club, and I instantly typed in the chat, uh, Berlin nightclub, January 1993. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Mars has said... I can't remember if I played Breathe five minutes ago, but I can remember where the Prodigy played in January 1993. <laughs> uh, I remember because I was about to start year 12. I was about to start my last year of high school, and I had a part-time job, which was on Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, the Prodigy were doing an all-ages show and a licensed show. This is January 1993. And uh, I think the all-ages show was on the Sunday, and... Uh, the license show was on the Saturday night, and I was like, man, I want to see The Prodigy. So I went there uh, 16 and three months, <laughs> tried to get in, no chance. So I actually rode my push bike there. <laughs> I, I remember climbing out my parents' window. I think I might have actually been talking to Denver, who's Lazy Dino in the chat. I, I might have even told Lazy Dino on the CB radio that I was going to jump out my bedroom window and ride my push bike into town, which I did. And I think the lineup was Oakenfold, uh, Sasha, The Prodigy, I can't remember who else. So I stood out the front of Berlin nightclub in Northbridge after riding my bike about 12 kilometres in the middle of the dark, <laughs> in the middle of the night. And I yeah, didn't get in and I listened to people coming. Yeah, when, when people would walk in and out of the door, I could hear a bit of The Prodigy. Uh, I think they played at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> there you go. I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. But yeah, uh, Denver and I used to talk on the... Uh, Lazy Dino, who's in the chat. We used to talk on the CB radio all the time. <laughs> Pre-internet. <laughs> and I remember saying to him, yeah, I'm going to ride my bike into Northbridge, which at that stage was the fucking craziest thing ever. But hey, there you go. <laughs> that was my story of the prodigy. And then, uh, like 12 years later, I got to remix them with Rob. So funny how things work out, eh? Played with them a bunch of times. Absolute legends. Rest in peace, Keith. Definitely lost um, a, a cool-ass human with that dude. Checking out, unfortunately. Anyway, we're not at 69 yet. I've got a treat when we hit 69, if we get there. <laughs> I think people who saw my tweet might think, fuck, I don't want to listen to Happy Hardcore. Prodigy special to kick off, though. I've got one more Prodigy tune, and then we're going to go into uh, some other things. I might just let that wind down. I can't call 69. There you go. What the f... See? It just happened. Like 72. What the fuck? Okay, if we get... If it, if it stays above 69 for five minutes, then I'll do something special. I don't want to hoax it, you know? See? See?
chat is kicking off. My goodness, all the things you were talking about. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to wind this down, actually. This concludes our Prodigy tribute. I tip my hat to the legends that are the Prodigy. And uh, you know what? I can't wait for 69. I have to engage my special treat. Most uplifting. Are you ready? Lazy Dino, thank you for this. is about to light up my life. You ready? What complements a $20 rave light better than a $20 laser? So fancy. Thank you, Lazy Dino, for my $20 laser that arrived in the post today. Just don't look at it. some classics mountain terror style
Laser Gang, Evening T-Mox, Mars, Randazzo, Detroit, Jimmy, Empirical, Gutter, of course. Oh man, full crew in tonight. Welcome gang, thanks for joining us. Coke can is dancing, laser is firing. I quite like it actually. I can't look at it, but I like it. Evening Kevin, morning Kevin. Shouts to Andy Gravity, yes. Are you going to Packers thing still on Saturday? I'm definitely going. Maybe. Thanks for checking in, Nick. Nixa, it finishes early. We can be old and go home before midnight. I think I'm going to go. Mars, you're talking about Wollongong. I played in Wollongong like uh, two or three years ago. Were you there? It was definitely in a seedy pub, but it was great. Oh, awesome. That was a fun night, dude. I 
felt like I was playing to some music-starved, ravenous people. Yeah, the Grand, that's right. They felt like they were starved for D&B. It went off. Future Primitive, one of my favourites, Feel It In The Air. This one's Happy Tunes, because I'm Happy Hornet tonight. Got my new laser light. In the chat, Ikaro Sav says, unrelated, but the first drum and bass I ever heard was the Powerpuff Girls intro. Is that by Bad Company? You make me, me, me. Yeah. I, I was 
DJ for a solo, wasn't it? Zero time. I also have never thought of it like that. Akaro Sav. That's a uh, very interesting. Nixa says she feels old. Well, if you were to feel me, you'd feel older. like what Curly Roller has just said in the chat is very poignant. Maybe old, but got to experience some amazing music when it came, well, when it first graced the world. Yeah. Like this. fell off. She's going crazy. says like those new lights courtesy of mr lazy dino who is in the chat a random gift that appeared in my letterbox today rave lights i love it i might lose a cornea or a retina if i look into the light
Bucky. Sorry to hear that you've had a shitty day at work. This is actually awesome. I cannot see a damn thing. <laughs> it is just like my own little club. Ryan and 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 welcome friend. Glad you could join us. Whoops. lights have a remote control let's see what it can do probably not much Uh, Detroit Jimmy, no DMX on these ones. My other Chinese rave light has got a DMX control. I'll get around to it. Man, that's awesome. tunes I'm just playing with my rave lights sorry Denver, did you order these this year? I'm sure they would have taken ages.
honest, these lights are kind of exactly what I wanted from my Twitch stream. Just wanted them to look a little bit trippy. Close to an hour in the chat, in the stream. Thank you for joining us. It's been a a bit of a hardcore evening. Mountain Terrace Tuesday. All those happy vibes. I'm feeling it.
time for a little jungle. Deities early works. Calling all the people. White House records. Uh, Mid 1994 by memory. Gotta
Serenity, but do you have this on vinyl? This is the illegal mix. Rish4508 is asking, are requests available? Well, throw your request in the hat. I can only say no. I was entertaining your request. You took too fucking long though. Come on son, don't dick about. (laughs) Hurry up. I'll forget that you even asked if you take much longer. Big up 1200. Exactly, Wes. Oh man, this fucking tune. So good. Gravity says, love the selection. Thank you, sir. Nice to have you along for the ride. You've made a funny point there. I had to stop the music. He said, hardcore tunes, but they never get to the beats or the breakdown. I actually started a mix in Ableton that was 100% hardcore piano sections and nothing else. You've reminded me to revisit that. I just cut the piano sections out of every hardcore tune, and when it hit the drop, I drop into the next piano section. No tune. Just pianos. It was like edging, but hardcore. Instrument lining system is down. Backup systems won't come up.
sounds of the nookie. Crazy. You would never hear music like this now. Right down to all the samples, the production. So unique. Raga Logic called Cops. 1994. your pen and paper look for Randall at AWOL in 1994 he plays this tune and during that set creates the double drop no lie you can listen to it on YouTube live 
when Randall basically invented the drum and bass slash jungle double drop. It is incredible. GQ is on the mic. There's also a Randall and Kenny Ken set from 1994. They play this too. Look on YouTube. It's incredible. Listening to that history... Seven is gifting five subs. Johnny. Amazing. Yes, Karen, aren't you? (laughs) I used to get paid for this shit. It's a distant memory. According to the UK government, I should just retrain. Music career is over. Arts sector, finished. Entertainment industry, just go and get a different job, they say. The problem with that is, one of the things that made the UK great was all the things I just mentioned. Take them away, what's left? Most of us have been at this for 20 years or more. What the fuck do I put on a resume? What will my CV say? 2000 to 2020. I was El Hornet and I was awesome. <laughs> oh jeez, Denver. Lazy Dino says, what are your barista skills like? Christ. Johnny. 
Kingy, I actually spoke to someone the other day who's an avocado farmer in Pemberton, and he said they can't find staff because there's nowhere for anyone to stay if they did go down there, unless you've got your own 20 grand caravan. Strange. I wouldn't do it anyway. This one, Ezra, Johnny Jungle, Johnny 94, Origin Unknown Remix. forgotten. Interesting tidbit about this tune. If you don't know it, it's called The Burial by Leviticus, which most people may know as Jumpin' Jack Frost. However, this tune was engineered by Optical. 27 years ago. A very young Optical, before he was mates with Ed Rush made this tune with Jumpin' Jack Frost. And the next one, I'm gonna start from the very, very beginning and play nearly all of it because it's that good. The Brain Killers, Screwface, Kemet Third Party Recordings, very hard piece of vinyl to find. Let's absorb this.
Spherical Well. That is a very, very good question. What is a nose beer? It's like powdered champagne. Straight to your brain. I don't know where the term nose beer came from. I think it's hilarious though. Ah, <laughs> uh, like glucose. Give out the music from the top. Yes. Okay, gang, two more, I'm out. I've been rolling for an hour and a half now. A lovely journey through some early prodigy, some early hardcore, some early happy hardcore, a bit of jungle. Fantastic session. The new rave light is a winner. Thank you, Lazy Dino, for that. And if you subscribed or donated or did anything cool like that, thank you so much. If you didn't, pony up your fucking cheapskates. That's all good. I'm not serious. Actually, I did a stream the other day and someone donated me $3. I sent it back, but I appreciated the gesture. What a record. Very serious piece of jungle. Uptown and downtown girls loving them. Ah, junglers. Oh, that's too fast. Are you ready? I'll leave you with this from the fantastic Mr. Tenor Fly. Rest in peace, sir. One of my favorites. Jar Sunshine. in on seven inches this is not the ragga twins but big up for the ragga twins says reckless life Thank you, Andy. I appreciate you as well. Mountains. 
So if you've been in the stream at all, ever, you'll know that uh, the last tune is generally a 7-inch from my collection. Ah, jungling. And I've dug out an Australian doozy for this evening. I'm not quite sure why or how I own this on vinyl, but I do. Take some advice from the reporter man Think up for your chest and your first set up for your plan Don't be a fool and follow next man If you follow man and then you end up a prison Vocals courtesy of the wonderful departed Mr. Tenor Fly, who was one of the vocalists on the Pendulum tra- uh, track Tarantula. An amazing man that I was lucky enough to play quite a few shows with. We never did a Pendulum show with him. We did plenty of shows with Spider, but none with Tenor Fly. He left us much, much too early. Okay, seven inches of love coming right at your forehead. Thanks for tuning in, gang. I appreciate it as always. Wonderful stream tonight. Wonderful b- 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 banter. Actually, yeah, we should address that. Co- uh, Karen from Division 7 says Sad news about Cookie Monster. Another one who's left us much too young. I think perhaps um, we are seeing the true effects of the last six months of the world ending how many people have you seen like losing their proverbial shit online becoming anti-vaxxers government conspiracy theorists posting absolute fucking nonsense oh man it's sad I could rattle off a list there's several people in the drama base scene I've seen lately who are just uh, saying some very concerning things Friends of mine from a long way back who are literally spouting some really weird conspiracy theories and anti-vax theories and yeah, man, fuck. I'll never get there. I think I'm too mentally strong-willed for that. And, uh, you know, I don't think they're out to get me. You know what I mean? I feel lucky in that regard because I have a lot of friends that aren't that well equipped to deal with this kind of thing six months in the cracks are beginning to show definitely karen says took facebook off my phone mental health restored yeah that'll do it i do i must admit i really do like facebook though like it's terrible i hate it but i also enjoy the interaction i get with my real world friends and once they start talking in a right wing anti-vax conspiracy theorist sort of way i just delete them because they're not my friend then. <laughs> anyway, seven inches of love. Let's focus on the music. The the politics politics chat can perhaps save for when I do a different version of the stream. Maybe I'll do a stream or just a straight podcast and just talk about things and not play tunes. Right now I want to play a classic Australian tune, maybe from the eighties. Yeah. Here it comes. So good, so good.
Mars. Yeah, Gutter gets it, definitely. Let's do that. See you guys later. Have a fantastic week. I'll be back on Thursday and Friday uh, doing different things to today. And also, uh, there is, oh, fuck's sake, Coke can dropped his sunglasses. <laughs> There's a couple of new episodes of the podcast version of The Hornet's Nest on Spotify and Apple Music. Tell your friends. friends. friends.